Now we're going to minimize how far these two teeth seem to protrude over the lip. We'll use the lasso tool and we're going to choose the bottoms of these teeth and half of the lower lip as well just like that and add a modification to that selection by giving it a two pixel feather. Then we'll choose to make a new layer via copy command or control J and then we'll choose edit free transform and we're just going to pull up a little bit just like that. That's actually pulling up the edge of the little lip there and making the tooth shorter. So we'll zoom out Make sure that we don't pull it up too much. See how it was before? Make it real long, make it a little shorter, just until it just is tipping over the upper lip, but the teeth don't look too long in comparison to the other teeth. It's just a little camouflage. We'll accept the transformation by tapping on the checkbox or using the return or enter keys on the keypad. Check our before and after here. That looks pretty good. Then we'll add a layer mask and using the brush tool with black as a foreground color, 50% opacity and 100% flow, we're going to just paint in a little bit of it right there. Just take the edge off. Let's drop the opacity down to about 30% and reverse the color so we can add a little blur around the edge here. When it's a little bit softer than what we had it, so we'll do that with opacity. Okay. Now we have crooked teeth that don't look nearly so crooked with just a few slight modifications. I'm Jane Connors Iser. Thank you for joining me for this session on fixing receded and crooked teeth. Sometimes teeth can be a real challenge when they are this crooked because the subject always feels a little bit self-conscious about crooked teeth and you want to make their smile look beautiful without making the subject feel like they need to spend a lot of money at the dentist in order to look good. We're in this business to boost confidence, so what we're going to do on this project is minimize the crookedness without changing the teeth characteristics too much. In this way, the subject will feel beautiful just the way she is. My file for this session is already open and the background has been duplicated. Open yours and we'll work on this project together. First we'll look at the receded tooth. It looks even more receded because the one next to it is sticking out a little bit. So we're just going to make it look a little bit less by putting on a quick screen blending mode and you can do that by adding a levels adjustment here. We'll do it this way this time. Close it and then change the blending mode from normal to screen and then hit command or control I to invert it. This will be a quick little screen blending mode here that we're going to use the brush tool with white paint at 10% opacity and 100% flow to just paint in a little lighter exposure right over this tooth. Okay, just like that. If you zoom out You'll see what's happening here. Okay, just a little bit. You can even extend the tooth down a little bit uh, if you take your brush a little bit smaller and you can just like make the top part of the lip a little bottom edge of the tooth if you want. Let's drop this opacity down to about 5% though so we can do this without it looking wormy. When you were using small brushes, a low opacity is real important because the strokes become so definite. Now this looks a little bit pink, but we don't care yet, so we're going to zoom out and check the whole tooth. We'll get a little bigger brush here again and just make sure that this tooth is nice and even, just like that. And then what we're going to do is merge this layer down onto the background copy, which is Command or Control E, and we need to change that pink color to the grayer tone of the tooth. So we'll do that with the brush tool in Color Blending Mode opacity 10%, flow 100%, and we'll take a fairly small brush, option or alt-tap, whoops, I left the brush too, option or alt-tap to get that uh, color, and we're just going to paint it right over the pink part of the tooth, just until we get the right tooth color in, just like that. Okay, 
That's the first step, and that technique will work on any receded tooth.